Hey guys, what's up? My name is Peepbreaker, and today I'm gonna show you how to get the best possible quality on YouTube. So I have received a ton of messages from you guys on my best Sony Vegas render settings video, uh, telling me that somehow you are not able to achieve the very nice quality that I have on my channel. So today let's briefly talk about how to get at least 1080p 60fps on your YouTube videos, how to get even higher resolution videos on YouTube, how to force the VP9 codec, and last but not least, how to do all of that without having to have a very popular video. Now very briefly let's talk about project settings. I simply use the automatically generated project settings whenever importing a shadow play clip into the Sony Vegas timeline. So these are pretty much the settings that I always use. Also always make sure to disable resample on your clips. Um, if you have multiple clips, you can click on uh, this uh, rectangle tool here, select all of your clips, right click, switches, disable resample. I actually think that disabling resampling always looks better except for a few very selected cases. So unless you know what you're doing, disable it for good. Next up, I always like to add a few effects to my videos. So first of all, I have a color corrector to make the video look just a little bit more saturated and just a little bit more pleasing to the eye. You can copy paste these values if you like. And I use a sharpener, um, which is especially useful if you're rendering in a higher resolution than your video originally is. However, obviously both color corrector and sharpener are very personal choices and you can use them or not depending on your liking. Now for rendering, there are a few very important settings that you have to do in order to get the best possible quality on YouTube. First of all, always use the main concept AVC AAC codec. I have a template here, you can just create your own template, call it whatever you want and save it here. Use custom frame size. This is very important. If you just use HD 1080p, sometimes it can happen that your video is actually not encoded in 1080. So instead of using HD 1080, just put in 1920 by 1080 manually and you should be good. Also make sure to untick allow source to adjust frame size. Use the high profile and untick allow source to adjust frame rate. Otherwise your video might not be in 60 FPS on YouTube. Finally go to project and use video rendering quality best and you should be set for a very good render quality. Now when uploading a video to YouTube always make sure to use Google Chrome and always make sure to disable all of your extensions. So here in the extension tab make sure to disable all YouTube add-ons. Now after you've uploaded your video to YouTube um, let it encode for a few hours depending on the length of your video and then make sure that your video is actually available in 1080p 60fps. If your video is only available in 720p 30fps then obviously first of all you have messed up the render somehow and the video is actually not in 1080p and the quality of your video is not going to be very good because the bitrate is a lot lower than for a 1080p 60fps video. Now the final step for making your video look absolutely fantastic is that YouTube actually encodes your video in VP9. This is very important, if you do not have the VP9 codec, your video is always gonna look a lot worse than a video of someone that actually has the VP9 codec. But how do you actually achieve the VP9 codec on your videos? Now there are two ways on how to do this. First of all, your video is very popular, so if you have a lot of views on your video, YouTube will most likely re-encode your video in VP9. Or the most easy way to achieve this is to upload your video in a higher quality than 1080p 60fps. So if you upload your video in 2K or 4K resolution, your video will always be re-encoded in the VP9 codec. Now sometimes it can happen that for some weird reason, YouTube doesn't re-encode your video in high resolution than 1080p, even though the original footage was actually in 4K resolution, um, resulting in the video not getting the nice VP9 codec. Now according to Reddit, this can happen whenever you upload a video only in 1080p to YouTube that all of the following videos are actually also only going to be re-encoded in 1080p rather than their native resolution. So what you can do to force YouTube to re-encode your video in its native resolution is to upload your video to Google Drive, just upload it and wait until it has processed to 1080p. It will actually never process to 2K or 4K resolution, it will just go to 1080p. Uh, and then re-import your video, click on import videos and click on the recent video that you've just uploaded and then YouTube should actually process your video 
in its full native resolution. So in my example here, my Road to Supreme is now available in full 4K resolution. And what's even nicer, it is encoded in the VP9 codec. So to sum things up, if you want to get the very nice VP9 codec on your videos, either you have a lot of views or upload your video in a higher resolution than 1080p. And if your video is not re-encoded in the full native resolution, upload your video to Google Docs and re-import it to YouTube. So that sums up how to get the best possible video quality on YouTube. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you still have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, leave a like and a sub. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one.